Holy balls, you guys. What the hell is this? This is a real thing that is alive, and I had to look up pictures to tell you about it. Don't worry, though. Let's all calm down. It's just a worm. Lives in Antarctica. Antarctica. So not here, wherever you live. Let's look at it again. Gross! But also, what? It has gold feathers? Why? Where are its organs? Does it have eyeballs? How does it move? Why? Why is it? Okay, let's just break this down. Let's all calm down. Okay, what we just saw was the Eulogisca gigantea. And I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, y'all. This golden feathered horror is a part of the Polychiaite family. I don't know how to pronounce that either. But they're also known as polydudes. Yes, that's right. Polydudes. <laughs> <laughs> These types of worms are also called bristle worms, which, while not as cool as polydudes, kind of makes sense because um, these worms are annelids, which are segmented worms. And at each segment, there's a fleshy protrusion that has little bristles coming out of it. And that is what you see as the golden feather. Let's look at it again. Ew, gross. It's so gross. These bristle worms, there's about 10,000 species of them. And they're all over the world. And a lot of them are under your pillow. <laughs> These Eulogisca giganteas live in the ocean. So you don't have to worry about that. And like I said, they live in Antarctica. But the other polydudes or bristle worms are also um, sandworms like these ones. <laughs> that last one was real and you can tell because of the bristles. We're smart, you guys. The Eulogisca gigantea is exactly that. It's gigantic. It can grow up to eight inches long and the girth well, that doesn't really matter. <laughs> this golden bristled monster is a predator and you can tell because it has two fangs at the end of its jaw. Look at it, look at it. Other than that, we don't know much about it because it's elusive, just like the giant squid. We all love the giant squid. What did we learn today about the Eulogisca gigantea? I don't know. We learned a few things, sure. But mostly, we know that it's down in Antarctica and we don't have to worry about it. Unlike sandworms, sandworms are under your pillow. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to another Nesbitt's Tidbits.